Hi, this is Anne from the Useless Crafters. So I'm following up with my um, glitter HTV on ribbon to do, originally I did the Secret Santa, which got so many comments and followers from that. Um, and I thought, oh my gosh, how cute would it be to make um, a personalized ribbon that shows it's from Santa? Because if you don't normally do this and you did this, your kid will probably think that it is from Santa. <laughs> so here's the ribbon that I use. This is satin. It's from Ribbons, uh, wait, hold on. Ribbons and Bows Oh My. So I'll definitely include the link to that website. I buy ribbon um, in bulk. So this is one and a half inches and it's a hundred yards. I know I use, I, I'm a wrapping fanatic and I love all my ribbons. So anyway, I've done HTV on this. So this is satin again. And then I've also done it on grow, grow grain. So that's the one that has like the more fibers, but honestly, I think any ribbon you can do it because I iron on every, anything and everything. So Anyway, first thing is you wanna make sure that you know your measurements. So in this case, we know the width is one and a half inches. So and at the edges, most likely you're gonna have some sort of stitching. So you don't wanna to go to one and a half, maybe one and a quarter. So that gives you a little bit of playroom to make sure that you're centered and then go down. So let me show you what the original ribbon look like, um, looks like. My ribbon is a tab. It, it's wrapped right now, so I don't want to pick it up because it's so heavy. But the ribbon, think of the two like tails of the ribbon coming down. So here's the bow, and then you have the tails. So I had the name Emma going like this, and then Rudolph, you know, on the side. So I had Emma two times. So it's Rain Rudolph, Emma, Rudolph, Emma, Rudolph. And Secret Santa is also slanted. So this time I think the to and from Santa, I kind of want it so that each letter comes down so it's easier to read. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna use the same font. Um, so let's go and grab the font. The font is Happy Popcorn. It's from Font Bundles. I absolutely love it because it cuts and weeds so well. And that's part of the trick, right? Is to make sure it's low maintenance. So let me write out from and I want to do it like this because we only have two and a half, uh, one and a half inches, right? So one and a quarter. I don't want to spell out the whole word from because then it's going to be too small. So I'm going to have from, and then I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do two. So I'm sorry that the text bubble is right here. Okay. And then the way I want to do it is like this. So let's do another text box and it's showing right where my face is so give me a second to move this i'm gonna move myself over here today now i just gotta remember that i'm over there <laughs> okay so for santa i'm gonna do it like this so i'm gonna do caps lock because i like this font with um all caps so i'm gonna do s return a return n return t return a Okay, so I want it to look like this. And then I'll move it over so we can match it up with the from. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. So we know this can go up to one and a quarter. So I'm actually gonna maybe go all the way up to 1.4. And the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to decrease the letter space a little bit. Oops. Okay. Is that us? Okay. So it's going to look like this. And then this, I'm going to make this all the way up to 1.25. So let's see how much bigger that makes it. So it's going to look like this. But of course, I'm not gonna want all this space, right? So I'm gonna ungroup it. And because I'm making it all the way to 1.25, I'm not gonna worry about, um, about the spacing. I'm gonna iron on each letter separately. So I'm gonna do it like this. And you also wanna make sure that you're 
your ribbon tail is long enough to handle this, right? So let's see how long your ribbon tail would need to be. Okay, so your ribbon tail has to be, gosh, 12 inches. That's really, really long, right? So once you have it like this, here, let me zoom out a little bit. Let's say you your ribbon tail is only eight inches. What I would do is I would unlock this because with this font, you can change the, it doesn't have to be um, smaller proportionately. So watch, you can do something like, and that still looks good, right? So we wanna be under one and a half So you can make it something like this. That would be really cute. So then, whoa, what happened to my two over here? Okay, here we go. Um, and then I would do the same thing. So text, and then let's, I'm not gonna do Charlotte because it's so long, but I'll do Charlotte. Oops. So C-H-A-R-L-O. I'm gonna move it over here. And I would have probably done both and then changed my dimensions at the same time so that it would um, it would look the same. So I would, let's see, first make this big. Make this 1.25 to match this. And then I would grab all of this unlock it right and make it sh shorter and see if that matches up more you kind of want to make it match these two right so this is still a little bit big but let's um let's ungroup that for a second and let's move all of these closer. It's a little bit easier to, to do it that way. Okay, so now they're right next to each other and if you wanna make them match, because your two ribbon tails are gonna be even, right? So you could do something like, oops, hold on, unlock this first. The two is much smaller, so you would have to do one at a time. But I think that looks that looks fairly good. To and from, it's gonna come down the ribbons, so I'm gonna do that shortly. But I wanted to show you how to do this in Design Space. Now what happened to all of these? So weird how it cut off. So weird. Okay, this reindeer, in case you missed the first one, the reindeer is so cute. Let's go into images really quickly so I can show you where to find that. So type in reindeer and search. And it is this little guy right here. So let's insert. And then I'll show you how to change out the, the nose. So I'm gonna move him over here. Um, what I did was I took a circle, because this is one image, right? It's one line item, so it's all connected. So what I did was I made sure that my circle covered just the nose and then grabbed the two items and sliced so that I can slice the nose out. I did a gold reindeer, gold glitter HTV. We can get rid of the slice results. And then this one, oops, come on little nose, there. Okay, so grab this little nose, go to contour, hide all, because I wanted to make him Rudolph, so I want a whole red one. And so I'm gonna get this and make it red. Now what's nice about this reindeer is that you can use the same image twice. So this is what it looks like. Let me see if you can see it. This is the silhouette, right? 
but when you weed it out, you have a whole, oops, sorry, you have a whole reindeer. So just cut out double of the red nose and you can use a solid reindeer with the red nose and then the silhouette of the reindeer with the red nose and iron it onto your ribbon and or onto your present. So if you follow me on Instagram, my next post with this one with Santa is going to show you, I'm going to do both the weed, the weeded out part and the silhouette with the red nose and the reindeer. One of them, I ironed it straight onto the wrapping paper and it looks so stinking cute. Really, you can iron anything, um, paper, so cardstock, notebooks, um, vinyl, nylon, all that stuff, I iron it. So let me know if there's um, something that you wanna see. I've also ironed onto acrylic blanks. So that's something to consider as well. All right, feedback. Tell me if I'm crazy, you love it, questions. And then if you have any special requests, let me know as well. All right, bye guys.